do not. <laughs> so we okay. I got you. So let's go to question three, which is does being called a BBQ, beautiful black queen, does that excite you or upset you? And why? Oh gosh. Okay, so for me. It doesn't upset me. Like it only upsets me when I know you're the type of guy. So when I hear somebody call somebody um, queen or black queen, to me, that's you're showing them like the highest respect. That means you respect me. Like you think highly of me. So if I know you're the type of man that really doesn't respect women, if you call me a, a, a queen or a black queen or whatever you say, like, I'm really going to, that's when it irritates me. If I really know the type of guy you are and you sitting here trying to talk about some hey queen, black queen, like, nah, you don't even respect women like that. So don't even have that in your vocabulary. <laughs> but when it comes from somebody who I know, like, loves black women and respects them highly, like, I love it then because it's just like, mm -hmm. okay, like, it I can get with better. that. Yeah. yeah, I can get with that. But these men out here that just throwing a queen around and stuff like that just to, you know, act like they have this high regard for women. Like, I don't like that because it's like, I already know you, the player type, you don't really respect women like that. So just stick to the person's name or whatever little other words you can bay, hun, love, all that other stuff. But don't say queen. Like, if you don't really know nothing about queenship or none of that other stuff or queen any of that don't even use it <laughs> just don't use it right Courtney how do you feel about it well when we we had touched on this before when you and me were talking about it on the chat or whatever it's, it's basically what she said it all depends on who it's coming from yeah. I have to know, like I don't like it when strangers like I was when I was on uh, my lunch break at the clinic one day I went to the gas station that had the subway <laughs> attached there was a black man he got out the car behind me in the gas station while I was coming back from the subway to my car. He goes, beautiful black queen, beautiful black queen. And I'm just like, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, you don't, you don't know nothing about me. You don't know nothing about me. You're just saying it because it, it sounds trendy and you think, you know what I mean? It's almost like, right, yeah. it's just, it's just to me, it's, it depends, like you, like you were saying, it depends on who it is. Now, if I'm dating somebody and they haven't said it before, I'm like, you know, like three months in, four months in, they're like, you're my queen. <laughs> I'm be like, you know, yeah. but just, <laughs> you're just, receiving yeah. it differently, and you know, you're exactly. like genuine about it. Exactly. So it like, yeah, it just yeah. It depends mostly too, I was gonna say like mostly too, like just to be honest, a lot of the the guys that always like say like black queen to me or just call me queen in general, they all kind of come from like the same group. I would categorize them as like they all come yeah. from the conscious woke oh, okay. guys. So they so are like, they are it's it's authentic. Yes, yeah. Okay. So like it's it's something behind the black queen. It ain't just like them just calling you like they they really like respect black women and love them. So it's like it's mostly that group of guys that I get. And usually when it's not coming from somebody that I would put in that category. To me, it kind of seems like, oh, no, I got to look and see if, like, you mean this or you just trying to, just trying to get some cool points by calling me queen. Like, right. You know? I, um, I think it's, uh, that category, those people who, who know the meaning and, and use it, uh, the way it's supposed to be used, um, I, I do think that a lot of men, it's, like, it's overrated. Like, now, it doesn't, when you hear somebody say it, like, it doesn't affect you as much. It doesn't. It doesn't like do anything to you, you know. Because um, I I get called it, you know. Um, I I don't know. I just I don't know if I like it anymore. Like it's not. It doesn't hold no weight anymore. Because everybody queen? is saying it. Like what, I be like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody is saying it. Like they. It's like it, it's not doing nothing for me. Yeah. Anymore. Trendy. Yeah, me. It look, what if what if people say it's the for me? Like yeah, it ain't doing oh, nothing yeah. for me. It ain't doing nothing for me. Like not no more. Like at first you'd be like, okay, okay, King. <laughs> you know. Now right. it's just like now. Honestly, I play with it. Like because when like you said with guys who are just like womanizers or who don't respect yeah. them and stuff. You know, they just you know I they be like okay, Queen. I'm like okay, Burger King. Okay, you know, <laughs> like no, because I'm just saying like. You know, but um, 
but yeah i if it comes from the right person and then like what courtney was saying like if, it, if you're in a relationship then i think it it makes a difference like i let me earn that title just versus you just like giving it to me you know because it's the like you said the trendy thing or it's, you just hear other people saying it or whatnot um but i do i don't need it like i'm not big on titles like courtney keeps to know that i'm not really big on titles so i don't need that but i know the qualities and the characteristics that i already possess like i know you know and then also everybody ain't no queen like i mean yeah. realistically like somebody got to be a princess somebody got this you know there's love like what marie was saying gentlemen was saying there's levels so i do want to talk about that like there are levels to yeah. getting to that throne like first off you're not a queen if you don't have a king in order for, i mean okay okay i can, so, I can I mean, where you're going with that <laughs> yeah like so everybody <laughs> like, you gotta yeah, have the king can, in order to be that. a queen you know <laughs> so I, I already know I ain't no queen because I'm single. You know, I'm not that yeah. the other day when I was like, low key, I kind of like being called a princess more than a queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah, still, you know, yeah. I'm still in training. I'm still queen in training, you know. I still got my training wheels on, you know, but, uh, you know, and I'm not pressed for all that responsibility as a queen. Right. <laughs> because I can run a country doesn't mean I want to, you know? Right, you know, um, <laughs> you know, sometimes you not just want to be a duchess. Hey, I saw this on social media too. It was because I think they had posted it on the shade, shade room, but it kind of go back to Ashley was saying, like, now it's just so trendy. Um, mm -hmm. Tristan, what's his last name? Chloe, baby daddy. Tristan Tom Thomas, top. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the basketball player. The basketball player. Yeah, he had, she had made a post on Instagram or whatever, and he commented, he was like, my queen. And I'm just like, first of all, y'all, none of y'all guys started, y'all, y'all wasn't, Queens have been around that. for forever. Nobody thought about calling anybody a queen until we started saying black queen, black king, and all this other stuff. Now people, I mean, like we don't own the word, but ain't nobody was thinking about calling people no black queen or black right. king. So it's it's like, a, he had got a lot of flack about it whenever he had posted under her picture and he was like his queen like everybody was just coming for him like she ain't even no queen da, 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 da. let me ask you this uh do you think it would have been appropriate if he would have said that to his daughter like can he say that to his daughter because i think a lot of people kind of associate it with like race and stuff too now they do they do so, yeah. so but you so technically even though his daughter is you know black and i think she is white because because yeah, they she's say, Armen she's Armenian. The Kardashians. Well, well, whatever well that is, not her whatever because that that's is. not their daddy. That's not oh, her true. daddy. We're still trying to true. figure out who her daddy is, which they say is. You're daughter. right about that. Yeah. You're right about so that. So the other ones are Armenian, half Armenian, but she's just white and we don't know what it is. You know, yeah, until, yeah, until her mama ready to, to write the story of really who her daddy is, you know. Yeah. But I'm sure she knows. I'm sure she knows. But um, uh, but so is it appropriate for him to call his daughter like that because she is? technically black you know or she just be a princess? i mean I, I feel like he will you know i feel like a lot of the celebrities although they are like if they're black and they're with somebody who's like of another race like they're they're still gonna call their or child as if they were you know they're gonna still say black queen or mm -hmm. you know you're this and you're that and i and i get it but at the same time they're they're mixed and so I feel like that's it's to me it just seems a little different, you know, just saying, you know, she is it horrible that when we think of mixed kids, I kind of go by the brown paper bag rule. Like <laughs> if they're a certain um, color, I would see yeah. them like I, I identify them more as being black because that's how they're seen. You know what oh, I mean? Because of their shade, like they're right. Trying. Yeah. Right. Because even yeah, though somebody mixed, darker, they could get away with that. Like if I mean you know, if somebody like is is mixed, but they're on the darker side, like you saying, like even just referencing them just as black or whatever, like that's gonna be like you're not even gonna think about that. If, but it's somebody who's lighter, and you gotta like you gotta have to tell me that you got a black daddy or black mom. Right. You know, you know, you know who who uh, a famous person. He's a rapper who go through that uh, logic. So compare logic to J Cole. Like honestly, I did not even know oh, J Cole was yeah. biracial. I didn't know really? I didn't, exactly. I do not know that. Literally, it's how yeah. people perceive you. Because you so, can so, okay. but they go do, off by what they see. So if yeah, let's do three okay. artists. Let's do okay. We got logic going by the paper bag. You got yeah. logic, who is more fair skinned You got J Cole, who's high yellow, and then you got uh Drake. 
I could tell Drake mixed with someone. You know, I would have said a little Hispanic, but he's black. You mm, know? I don't know. We need no. We need somebody else because they um Drake Drake. He all right, but we need somebody who's like more. But, but you kind of see what I'm saying? Like Drake yeah, has like saying, compared though. compared to the J Cole, Drake has a better grade of hair, and he's a little. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, well, hold on, wait a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Logic, you said, Drake. Hold on, Ashley. You said Drake has a better grade of hair. Yeah, compared yeah. to J Cole. <laughs> compared to J Cole, I think uh, so. Especially I now, J Cole. Wasn't expecting that. That just kind of caught me off guard when you were talking about his grade of hair. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Cause I, I want to switch them up. I want to say Logic, Drake, then J. Cole. Because J. Cole, yeah, I would say, he would be more yeah. like my cousin. Like, I can see him yeah. at the cookout. If, like, I can't I didn't know J. Cole was mixed until you said it. If I look at J. Cole, I, I right now? like him. Like, just now? You didn't like, know? Like, just now. Oh, my girl. Oh, wow. I know I, just found out a Cole, I like J. Cole, but I didn't yeah. know that he mixed. If you didn't tell me that, I would have never thought that. I just would have thought he was a light skinned black man. His, I, well, how I found out was I had to rewind a song and I was like what did he say yeah he says it in his music and stuff and I was like ain't no way in her and I'd be down I yeah see J. Cole he can get away with a lot more stuff than Logic can mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he does I mean like and Logic, I mean, <sighs> he go through with it Charlamagne oh, no, I... the guy was giving him a hard time about him he was like I don't believe like you said about you need you need to prove it with a parent he yeah. was like he was giving him a hard time he was I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, <laughs> he does not look like he's mixed. That's At all. I don't really That's even know. I know Logic the name, but I don't really let me look. I don't even know how he looks. Like it's crazy because I hear that name Please. a lot and I know. Yeah. But I never. Look up. Logic looks like a white man, and that's why I would call him white. I wouldn't call him mixed. Because... <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, like... uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> No, yes, uh-uh. he's gonna have to prove. Uh uh-uh. uh, no, 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 ma'am, no, sir. See, I think that's why that child made that suicide song oh, because everybody uh-uh. just don't believe it. No, but you know I what? Did not you... know this was logic. But you know what? We need more proof, logic, because we, especially with that Rachel Dozoff lady who pretended that she was transracial, yes, being uh-huh. black. Like, lady, you did not have to do all that to help what he say he is what logic his daddy his what, his what? daddy he said i think he said his dad is his daddy. his daddy black yeah that's what he said uh, he did a documentary because uh, i was about to say we ain't seen that but he did do a documentary but i don't know if he hired that man and we don't know <laughs> you know i don't know like your hair i don't know uh, that's what he said i mean so really going by what courtney uh paper bag theory like and i hate that and i hate that we I, have to- I hate it too i really do but that's that honestly true but it's really that. true because if logic was darker we wouldn't we would just we wouldn't question like we wouldn't question it so much but even j cole even though he's lighter because he's more ethnic yeah, he's more ethnic. He his, more hair is, he, his hair is more kinky. He his his features and stuff relate more to to our community. It's like, of course, I feel like we're gonna relate him or or put him in our category more than Logic. Cause I just looked at him and I'm just like, no, I had to do research on him. I was like, this is no. creepy. This is creepy. But wow. I understand that there are some fair skin people, you know that um. You know, but oh, a prime example. Well, no, no, Drake. I can't say that because Drake kid is like, he's really like mixed up with stuff. Like, mm. you see his son? Yeah, I seen him. Like, yeah. that is a lot going on. Like, he don't yeah. look like, other than like the grandma, you know, like the blonde hair and, right, yeah. you know, but um, I don't know. So we, we're agreeing. So we're, I think we all, the question was, we're on the third question, everyone. The question was, um, does being called a beautiful black queen, does that upset you or excite you? And I think- and y'all draw some comments. I feel like we like going, we just carrying on up here. What y'all, what y'all thinking out there? <laughs> Let I us know they, something. It looks like they just, us. they just listening. Um, y'all listening, drop How, how do y'all drop feel a, about the beautiful black queen? Like, drop a crown, drop a crown in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Drop, drop the crown if you don't mind being called that. Or men, if you like calling your women that, and then drop the uh, the lady with the X. 
you know, where she's like, oh, uh-uh. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, uh uh-uh, uh, no, don't call me. Yeah. But uh, I think we all agree that um, if it's coming with the right intentions, we don't mind. Um, but like I said, I really don't care about being called that because I don't have a king yet. So, um, you know, I'll let him crown me with that title whenever that. Okay. Is. I'll yeah. let that. You know, time for me, y'all. I'm going to do some things. But, um, Ashley. Okay. Huh? Okay. So the fourth question. Wait, the last... Ashley. Oh, wait. Maybe that was something on the slide. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> she wasn't paying attention to me, though. Your palm oh, too. okay. <laughs> Your palm too. I ain't worried about it. It's over with. It's you, done. You, okay. It's as done. long as you know. I just want yeah, to Yeah, it's done. Okay, I was uh, bringing to my attention. I'm like, wait a minute. I think that was like a little, you know. <laughs> Cordelia said, I don't mind it, but it doesn't excite me anymore. Because and, and she said, she probably said anymore because of the same reason. As yep, she like, water down. Like, you know, like, you don't even care about being called queen. I mean, I still like it. Like I said, if it's on the right person. Oh, you know what? I heard something. I was listening to a song and you know how uh, with mixtapes or albums, you know how they have like in between songs, they have um like skits. Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. okay so it was a i think it was a yg album so it was like maybe like a couple years ago but this guy it was funny but i liked it it made me think dealing with the uh bbq the beautiful black queen but Mm -hmm. so he was saying he said yo he was talking to someone she was like yo i saw this fine girl i told her i said hey baby you look cute you look good and she said thank you and he said she kept on walking he said hold up b you know i'm thinking like right right but his delivery is wrong but let me tell you the message that he was getting at. he okay. was saying he said thank you all i get is a thank you he said i don't go around telling random women that they hush i don't go around <laughs> telling random women that they're beautiful he said i can't get nothing back like a uh you handsome nice hat <laughs> uh pure, pretty <laughs> shirt like and it oh, made me say like, yes so, so i was like we don't compliment men. We do I not do. compliment men. I do. Oh, no, because well, I, I compliment people. I, I compliment people too. I men, compliment, men, women I compliment women. men too. Like, if I they, more, if they I gave me a compliment. Compl- oh, sorry. No, go ahead, Courtney. I was saying I am more comfortable complimenting women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I do compliment men. It just depends on how platonic the compliment is, depending on the situation. <laughs> And you no. can't just make up a compliment. I mean, you could, but I mean, just like that situation no, you were just good. saying, Ashley, just because he called her beautiful and she just said thank you, I mean, she could have just oh, said he was something. Heated. You I'm, know, because what, what, what if he wasn't attractive to her or she didn't like his hat? She didn't like no shirt he had on. She can't say, oh, yeah, thank you. I love it. I mean, you look handsome yourself. Like, that would have turned into something else because it's like, oh, you I know it. you. You complimented me, so let's do this. And thing, he want you know? her phone number. Like, and then, yeah. yeah. So and sometimes you got to keep it cute and short, like, thank you, moving on. Right. In a sense, I understand what he was saying. Yeah. I honestly do. In a sense, I understand, but at the same time, it's, you don't owe nobody nothing. Like, she don't owe him, uh, oh, you got yeah. some pretty guys. Thank you so much. You the one chose to sit there. It's like when girls go on a bad date and they feel like their time is wasted. You don't have to say yes to go on a date. <laughs> but you yeah. didn't know, though. You didn't know. Like, I think if exactly. you, there, you didn't know it. He didn't yeah, know you didn't know how it was going to turn out, it, girl. Yeah, you didn't know. Wait, how what y'all talking out. about? She was like, for example, like if a, if you go on a date and then it was a bad date and the girl are you feel like you wasted your time, like you're not no, gonna know that you wasted your time until you go. You never oh, know yeah, how it's going to turn yeah. out. You know, so you have to put yourself in that situation in order to find out. You know, or you know, I, like this probably yeah. random too. Oh, when people, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say this, that reminded me too, like when people just say like, oh, women just be using guys to go on date and get free food. Oh, it's just yeah, like, if we go, if we, if you ask me to go get food, I mean, like, what are your expectations? Like, there's a few expectations that you could have just from the date alone. Like, you're going to, we're going to be talking. Like, you invited me to a food place. Like, of course, I'm going <laughs> to be going to get food. Like, you can't get upset and just be like, well, if you don't have deep conversations with me on the first date, then you're just using me for the food. Or if you don't seem excited when we're sitting there talking, then you're just using me. Like, like you mentioned, like, that's just stuff that you 
vibes that you create on a day, that stuff that you figure out about people on the day. Like you don't know if it's going to be good or bad until you're actually there. So of course, if it's bad, you're going to feel like, oh, this person like got me or, you know, this was a waste of my time. But you really won't know until you actually have the date. No. And what got, oh, well, maybe it's just like, what guy has deep conversations? Like I do my deep conversations over the phone. Like I get there yeah. in order for us to even, that's where my levels go at. Like before we even yeah. take me out to eat, I need to know this, like who the type of person you are. Like, are we gonna have those type of conversations and stuff? But um, traditionally, going back to the traditional stuff, guys pay, you know. But now, oh, you know, I told you they hate that money stuff. <laughs> they hate they, that money stuff. And but now I'm just like honestly, and maybe I need to cool off on saying this, but I always but. I've said it, but uh, guys don't never let me do it. But I'd be like, I'll just pay for my own food. Like, that's over the phone. Not while we're there sitting at the table. I'd be like, well, if we go out, I'll just pay for my own food. And they'd be like, no, nah, you ain't got to do all that. You know, but I just throw it out there. Like, hey. Yeah. And, and I say, I'll pay for my own food because I don't want you thinking or expecting anything. And like, you know, the, the meme that has been going around, like women do just want to go for free food, you know, which I don't think that's true. But, well. Unless you're just like totally no, not interested. I, I, I know, I know, girl, who did that. I know. I, I, I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm the first person to say men ain't shit. <laughs> but I do know. I, I used. Well, I'm talking about no more, but I used. I do know girls that have done that, where they were literally going on dates for the free food, and that's it. Not, not even like were they already in a relationship, or they just w wasn't interested at all. Period. Just wasn't. I don't know. If maybe one or two wasn't in a relationship, but the ones that I do know, they they weren't in a relationship, but they had no interest in that, those people. I can't do that. I'm so, I can't fake. I can't fake it. Like I cannot do it. Yeah. Like I just I feel like, like I gotta I have just, some level of knowing yes. if I'm gonna at least enjoy, like have a good conversation or something. Like it could be somebody that you agree to go on a date with that you just kind of like, oh, I don't really think nothing. You know, it ain't gonna go further than this date, but I'll still go. Maybe they have good conversation or you know, you just want to go enjoy company with the person. Like, you know, it may not go any further than that, but you're cool with just that one date and it just being done from that. But like Ashley said, I feel like you got to kind of have something. Like, something. if you're just going on a date and you absolutely don't have any interest in a person, like, that's going to be hard to get through, even if it's some good food. <laughs> Listen, I can't do it. I I can't do it. I, I, I got to have, like... Yeah. And then you're going to be asking, like, stupid questions. You're like, um... What you eat today? <laughs> like, like just stuff. Like I, I can't do it. I can't think like yeah. that. I and a, and a girl Quay, she commented and said that yes, her, I'm guessing her and her boyfriend and husband they did the same thing too. Um, over the phone first. I think what you were mentioning, Ashley, where you kind of get through those conversations on the phone first, and then you get to your date and you know have your date or whatever. I think that's what she was um talking about. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. So. Um. All right, so that's wrapping up the question about does being called a beautiful black queen, does that excite you or upset you? Okay, so this is the last question, and I think this is more like a 